Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to share a few stocks and index for intraday trading. So let's get started. First, as you can see, this is Sun TV. This is the 15 minutes chart of Sun TV, and I'll just draw a level over here. As you can see, the stock has formed a double top pattern over here, and it is on a support level. Uh, we can also see a trend line over here. right so we can also see a trend line over here once the stock breaks this level and sustains below this we can take a short trade and this can be our target okay let let me just check how big of a target this is perfect one percent is perfect uh, for an intraday trade and if you can hold it further uh, you can take this as your second target okay uh, very simple no indicators like you like you can see uh, only levels and you uh, this is totally based on price action if it sustains over this level you can take a short trade and this too can be the targets this can be the first target one percent target is enough but if you can hold it further you can hold it till here moving on to the next one we have hero moto cop uh, i'll just draw a level over here again for a short trade if the stock sustains below this level we can take a, we can take a short trade here this can be the first target this can be the second target okay i'll just check how big the target is one one point four percent that is okay uh, we have kept some space for gap down or gap up whatever uh, so yeah if the stock sustains below this level you can take a short trade and you can consider this as your target again as you can see no indicators purely based on price action okay moving on to the next one we have lupin lupin as you can see has been consolidating for a while okay you can consider this and again box breakout uh, and consolidation box breakout works beautifully so either side you can take the trade if it breaks up you can consider pivot as your target and one 1.2 percent target is very good for intraday and uh, for short if it sustains below this box you can take this as your target let me just check how big this is yeah 1.4 percent is okay one percent target is also okay uh, this uh, this also looks like a level so if the stock comes to this level you can just bring your stop loss to break even so that you don't miss out on reversal if any if any if the stock goes up then uh, you'll end up in break even and not in losses so that's how you can manage your risk a uh, very simple uh, consolidation breakout on either side the downside looks better here but even if it opens upside you can take a long entry and you can consider pivot as your target uh, if it uh, sustains below the box uh, you can take a short trade and uh, like i said this can be the first target when the stock hits your first target you can just simply bring your stop loss to break even so that if the stock reverses from here you cannot uh, you won't make any loss you will end up in break even and this can be your final target moving on to the next one we have oro pharma oro pharma again i can see a level over here okay and also this okay so if again the stock if the stock breaks this level if the stock breaks this level you can consider this as your target okay either this level yeah this one or this one both of them uh, looks like a good support level so you can consider this as your target for a short trade for long uh, i don't think i would suggest anyone to go long if uh, until and unless it sustains above this level once it does you can take a long entry and you can consider pivot as your target okay again i'm saying one person target is 0.8 to one person target is very good for intraday so if you can hold till one person if you can achieve one uh, one person in a trade in intraday that is amazing uh, moving on to the next one we have ioc ioc has already given okay okay so we have a support level over here yes we have a support level over here and as you can see the stock has given a breakout from this horizontal level okay it has broken this resistance level it has given a breakout but i can also see a trend line over here right 
so the stock has not sustained over the trend line yet once it does a long trade can be taken uh, i'll give you the targets this can be the first target okay i'll just check how big this is 0.7 percent okay and i'll give you one more this can be the second target so ioc also uh, has taken has, uh, couldn't break this support level uh, it went up broke this horizontal level and it is taking resistance from a trend line once it sustains above this level we can go for a long entry and this can be your first target and this can be your second target moving on to the next one bpcl very nice i love consolidation breakouts guys uh, because it gives the best targets always okay so uh, as you can see i've made a box over here trade can be taken on either side on breakout uh, once the once it breaks out you can take an entry for long short i think this is a good target i'll just check how big this is okay point eight is perfect uh, this can be your first time if you want to hold it further you can hold it a little further till here okay and for short okay so for short once it sustains below this level you can take an entry and you can consider pivot as a target like i said i've said this in my previous videos as well when you can't find a when you when you zoom out and you can't find a level for your targets you can consider pivot as your target i'll show you the setting okay in pivot you'll go to settings you'll do it fibonacci daily and just press on ok and like you said like you like you can see um this uh, can be the targets okay moving on to the next one we have reliance reliance okay nice reliance is also on a horizontal level can you see this this looks very good uh, once the stock sustains above this level we can take a long entry and for targets i think pivot would be a good target because i don't see any levels here this this is very short i think very small target a yeah, point four is very small uh, so we are not going to consider this as a target we can consider pivot as the target and this can be the final target okay. yeah one percent this is final target this should be the final target for long trade i don't um, it isn't looking very good for short trade but for long it's looking good uh, like you can see you can see a u shape over here okay and once it sustains above this level you can take a long entry and you can consider this level as your target moving on to the next one we have icici bank okay the stock has taken resistance from this level and is falling down uh, what we can do is we can wait till the stock breaks this level okay once it breaks this level we can take an entry and we can consider this as the target Hmm, perfect we can consider this level as the target as the short target okay and once it breaks out if it breaks out above this level uh, you can consider this as the first target and you can consider this as your final target this week okay yeah so this is it for the stocks guys okay I have given you one Sun TV, Hero Motocop, Lupin, Aurobindo Pharma, IOC, BPCL, Reliance, and ICIC. Total, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight stocks. Okay, that I have given you for intraday. Next is Nifty. Nifty, as you can see, it is taking support from this level. If Nifty breaks this level and after and retest and entry can be taken and this level can be considered uh, can be considered as the target and for long i wouldn't suggest anyone to take a long entry before it breaks this level okay i don't i wouldn't suggest anyone to take an entry before it breaks this level but it, if it breaks this level uh, an entry can be taken and pivots can be considered as the target moving on to the next one we have bank nifty okay so i can see a level over here right so if the stock again if it's okay i also see a trend line over here yeah so if the stock breaks the trend line and if it sustains below this uh, support level an entry can be taken and this can be considered as the target 
looks good right so yes this is basically it for the video guys i have given you a total of 10 uh, stocks including uh, i mean 10 uh, analysis including eight stocks and two indexes uh, as you can see i don't really uh, use indicators i rarely use indicators and indicators are mostly used for confirmations when i trade and i think that that's how it should be used i mostly focus on price action and simple just levels just levels and price action that's it so this is it for the video guys and i'll see you in the next one